Hi everybody, good morning, this is Jean here. Um, not a long video today, you're going to be getting sick of me, but I was just excited. I wanted to show you my little quilt that we made. Remember the hourglass block quilt that I was demonstrating in the pastel shades? Well, here it is done. I finished it. Um, I, I'm, I did like an all over little uh, free motion quilting stitch in the center here um, with like bubbles and circles. And attached to the in, the, in just a minute or so, I'll just attach a video of me actually quilting the center of this quilt. My son just came in and just was um, fascinated how I was doing it. Again, not a beginner step, but as we said, you could have uh, just stitched in the ditch when you make your little hourglass block quilts until you get better at free motion quilting. And I did the free motion quilting with this little bubble pattern because I was thinking um, it was sort of stark. The pastels so I wanted to soften it all up with like little bubbly circles and everything I actually pulled fabric from my my um, fabric stash here and I was amazed at how um, well this pattern this fabric I've had forever this little baby like little building blocks in the pinks and the blues went with my charm squares um, this was Moda fabric and this was a uh, something else I don't know I've had it forever this one I've had um, so and I was thinking about it, this quilt only cost me, well, the Charm Spirit Pack was $12, and I just used the whole thing, one. And then I, with the backing, which is the same, and the border, um, pro and the, a little bit of batting that I have, it's probably about $20, $26, $27 in total to make this lovely little quilt. So, and then it took me several hours to quilt it. Um, but I was just so thrilled with it, and I thought since you've tr hopefully been trying to make some of these hourglass blocks, you'll see how this is four blocks across and five rows down, um, and what a sweet little quilt it makes. And again, whatever your choice of fabric, if you do it in batiks, you can make a beautiful lap quilt, or as I did my br blues and browns, it's more of a dramatic masculine quilt. This is a sweet little baby quilt. So whatever fabric, it's exciting. Blocks work up quickly. Um, actually, uh, the rows work up quickly. My, my intersections, my points really stunk. I was, I was getting fed up and, oh, my hair. And, um, I, uh, a couple of my points really don't match up on my rows. But remember what I said about points? Anyway, um, isn't that pretty? So, yeah, I'm real thrilled. So there you go. There's my little my little baby quilt that we we made together hopefully you're doing it and um seeing results good results for your hard work okay i'm just going to attach the quilting thing to it and then i'll be out of your hair folks because you're probably getting sick of me oh there goes my hair okay um bye see ya so as i said here i am i'm going to be free motion quilting my little quilt um i'm going to be doing it in uh what's called a, like a bubble quilting or a pebble stitch quilting uh, this is a little bit advanced. You won't be doing this uh, th too soon. Um, but I'm doing this quilt because this way, because the actual pattern with the um, the solid fabrics, even though they're pastel, was a little bit stark. So I wanted to cutesify it up. Hence, I'm doing this bubble quilting here. Now, when I'm doing this, I have my machine set on my free motion quilting, of course. I'm thinking of actual coins. My mind is going to, I'm in America here, so a half dollar, a nickel, a dime, a quarter, and then filling in with little pebbles. So I'll just start. I've been quilting it. This, this quilt literally has only taken me a few minutes to quilt this entire quilt top here very, very quickly. Again, free motion quilting is not a beginner. I thought you'd like to see me uh, just free motion quilt my little quilt here. Um, and then this is what you'll be working up to. I'll try to keep my hands out of the way. So I just start. And you want to make sure if you close your circles. The eye, I believe, like optically, you don't realize it. If you, if you leave a, a circle, perhaps just more like a, an open, your eye can, will notice it. So just, doesn't have to be perfect, but just go right around, complete circle. There's my like a dime. I come out. I come back down here. There's a quarter, but I've finished it. And I'll just add a little pebble in there. Do another quarter. 
finish your circles. Go right around. A little pebble in there. A little dime in there. What's over here? I'll put a dot. That's a big lump in the middle, so I'll just go around that lump. Whoops, yep. Right around there. I have not stitched in the I have not stitched in the ditch here. This is just pebble quilted. It'll be it'll be loose. I, um, so it was quite easy to, to quilt because I've just started quilting and it'll be done. Here's some more. Remember, finish your circles. Actually, this quilt, if you want to take a charm square, make these little hourglass blocks and quilt it like this, this would actually be a good practice. Um, if you're if you're getting if you're wanting to start practicing free motion quilting, this would actually be a nice little practice quilt because your baby who gets it's not going to be bothered that um, your free motion quilting stinks. It'll be a really nice little way to practice your free motion quilting stitches, just little circles, and then you can get the the idea. I have a couple other videos on how I free motion quilt. Set up your machine. You are the stitch regulator. All you're doing is painting. Remember how fun it is. You're painting with this needle and thread. And down here, work my way over to this block. Add a few pebbles. There's a dime. I think a half dollar. And yeah, there. So I'll show you the finished quilt in a few minutes. Like I said, this is not a tutorial as such. We'll be going in. I just thought you'd be interested. But, but I think you go to my other tutorial, see how you set your machine up. Every machine is different. Follow your manual, get your proper foot out, and just practice. It's fun. Just practice. Doesn't matter if your stitches are a little bit long or a little bit short. because uh, it's all made with love and every hour that you stitch and quilt is another hour to perfecting your craft. It's just circles and uh, yeah, so have fun. Thanks.